Hello my friend, this is David again and I want to create this new tutorial so you learn how to make pages like this one or maybe a service website for your business like this one perhaps you want to sell uh, books or you want to sell products on your website so you can make a landing page just like this example here so I made all these pages pretty much from scratch using a technique that I'm going to share with you right now so you can put your web pages together rather quickly anyways let me just uh, show you what we're doing here so I'm just playing some music but I'm just going to pause it this music sort of gives me a lift and I was uh, looking into some videos because I also want to embed some videos from YouTube into my page uh, so let me just sort of uh, close everything and show you what is going on now this program that I have open on this window is called Pingendo Pingendo it's it's a free program that you can download from the interwebs uh, what you can do with this program is simply assemble your web pages rather quickly alright so in this example I have a pre built template uh, which I made myself and I use it I clone it so I can make multiple pages so I'm just going to save this for a second I'm just going to preview this on the browser so as you can tell it's just a skeleton that is not even text uh, all these pictures are just you know, you know green placeholders and I like to use this uh, greeny type of place holding uh, system because I know that I'm going to be able to add images proportionally to these boxes so for example I have this uh, screen uh, format I call this format the window format it's basically 4 by 3 this is 16 by 9 now this micro box here is basically the space that you will allocate from a log for a logo and why not and then you have the menu bar okay so th theoretically all we have to do is go to Pingendo say click on this image and say all right you know I'm going to replace this image for something else all you have to do is go to your URL and make sure you pull an image that is relative to your folder now if I were to just choose a, a random image let's say I'm just going to take this uh, Canadian map uh, as you can tell the image fits the width of the column in which the image is, is nested now if the image was uh, larger or even smaller let's say this one you can still uh, fit it there uh, within those constraints so column one column two uh, your image goes right there now what if I want to load the image from the web directly what I will do is I will go to let's say Google images and I'm going to browse for let's say I want I want the image of a city okay so I'm going to pull Vancouver city I'm going to get an image from here and I'm just going to select it click it uh, what I can do is simply click view image and, and make sure I copy this URL and then when I go back to uh, to gender to pin gender all I have to do is go to URL and replace it so there are two as uh, what's going on here let me just I believe it is not showing up until I preview it on the browser yeah that's exactly right for some reason it seems like Pingendo at least the latest version is not going to show you the images on the editor if you are loading them externally so it doesn't matter let's just go back and basically take this one copy and place it again just keep the placeholders so from here you can do a lot of things you can start by typing the content okay to my page and then here you start writing a paragraph a lead paragraph with a bunch of text this looks like it's obviously a bunch of gibberish but what you're doing is filling up your template with content uh, my technique or what I recommend you to do is start by creating the template 
in a very anorexic fashion, so a very lean design. You can pull components from here. Look at this. And all you have to do is basically like, literally drag and drop the whole chunk and replace content. The problem is you might get too excited. You will start, uh, you know, basically putting all these components together. You go crazy. And at the end of the day, you don't really have enough content to fill it up. You, you end up deleting. So my technique is more instead of, um, let's say, painting, they do it more like a sculpting. So basically, you know, you have all these pieces. Start by taking out what you don't need. Okay, you don't need this. Maybe you don't need this. Keep it in the minimal form. Then from there, start to fill in. You know, you're going to replace the logo in this image. You're going to replace this image for something else. You're going to replace text here. You're going to replace text here. And at the end of the day, what you're going to do is you're going to polish, con command S, save, preview. And whatever the result is, you can make sure that by using this technique, this is going to be fully responsive. It works in mobile beautifully. There you go. Works in tablets. It works on anything. TV screens, anything you want. Now I'm just going to stop the video here. And in the next video, what we're going to do is some content injection. So there are two processes. The first one that I call content vacuuming is basically you're going to take out content from the website. So that could be say you replace this for a generic, simple, single place holding word. So I know there is going to be a title, there is going to be a paragraph, and then some elaboration, some notes. In here, I'm going to place samples. So this is going to be a name of the sample. I just call it sample name. And there is going to be a subtitle. Same as for this one. So I can always duplicate these blocks. And what you do is you stack blocks together, creating the, the, the full structure of your, of your page. Now, if you are more code inclined, what you can do is simply go to a code editor here and play with the code. If you are more visually inclined, you might be uh, tempted to just use the visual tools uh, that you'll find here. The text tools, you can add buttons, add, just drag and drop what you need. In my case, what I recommend is just to kind of go 50-50. I, I do like to edit visually, but I like to have control over the code as well. So it's up to you if you're more developer oriented or if you're not more design oriented, you'll play. Now, how to add colors, how to add fonts, as that opens up a new universe of uh, CSS. So eventually we'll have to load CSS files and a CSS file allow us to use class names and to use these class names into your design. I'm going to explain this if you don't know CSS. It's going to take a little bit longer. I recommend you to take some readings on CSS. But basically, this is a CSS file that I created as well. Uh, you can find it in tmx.html. Actually, no. You just have to go to tmx. Modelsofidentity.com slash themex. And then you're going to see how you can uh, use CSS classes to call attributes on your HTML. So for example, we have this class color called BG color deep navy deep navy. Um, so if I were to just copy this class here, I go back to Pingendo and I'm going to say, you know what? I do want this background to be that color. So I apply it here where it says class. I'm going to go here and apply the color now because it's an external class. You won't see it in Pingender right here. But again, when you refresh, when you refresh, you see now this background color change. Okay, but the problem is now the text is black. So what you can do is say create a class uh, or simply go here where it says text white. You see? Text is white. Save preview. There you go. We change the color, we change the text, and we can start playing out with this template until we create some something with more uh, content. So what we can get to is something like this. 
you might end up creating a page that looks let's say like this one this is this is the same template in here I have a title a subtitle and then I have a video these are the videos that I have in YouTube okay just just like this one that you're watching right now so I created this page called um, modelsofidentity.com anorexic layouts because I wanted to provide templates for you so you can create designs faster than ever before you can take a look at these templates and you can download the whole pack from anorexic layouts amazing resource and if you do that all you have to do is open the templates and literally copy and, and paste components and build your pages super super fast so anyway this is david showing you pingendo and showing you anorexic layouts and i hope you enjoyed and make a lot of projects and create websites for yourself create websites for clients for your projects and and enjoy the the process in another video in my next videos because I, i'm creating this speed web design series in another video i will show you det more details in in terms of how to use css and how to make these tools more cross compatible with other libraries and with, with other resources thank you very much david i hope you enjoy